this episode should focus on the unstepping process. I looked for a long time to see if I could see anything about how to get a mast down. Obviously you need a crane for a boat this size, but the actual just mechanics of, of you know undoing the shrouds and, and getting everything prepped and... <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> that in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hi, I'm Lauren and this is Chris and this is Sailing Indiana. We're two pretty average people. We have pretty average jobs, we have to pay bills like everybody else. We have bought a sailing boat and this is our story. She is a 1989 Gypsy 372. She's 11 and a half meters and she's French. The boat is currently in Brundle Bay Marina in Norwich. The plan is to move her to Brighton. Once we've taken her to Brighton, then we will have a few more other jobs to do before we can actually sail her, which we're planning to do late spring. Fingers crossed and COVID permitting. So if you want to come on this journey with us, keep watching as we swap a life in the city for a life at sea. Hello, welcome to another episode of Sailing Indiana with Lauren and Chris. <laughs> Watch us try and navigate boat life. Some more in general boat life things. Yeah. This week's episode <laughs> of boat life things. We will be taking Indiana from her current location of Brundle Bay Marina, um, just down the river, twenty minutes to Bell's Marina. Because because we're moving her to Brighton. Because we're moving to Brighton finally, ah. um, and we have to move twenty minutes down the river because Brundle. Bay Marina doesn't have the depth where the hoist is for us to get lifted out. So we need to get lifted out in Bells Marina. So the lovely guys, the John and John down there will be helping us, helping us to unstep the mast and getting her all prepped to go on the back of a lorry. So tying everything down and making sure everything's safely in place. Yeah. Hopefully we can go into a bit of detail in this episode about how you actually unstep a mast because there's not much online that I could find anyway that showed you the yeah, the kind of mechanics of actually taking down the shrouds and, and prepping a mast for being unstepped. So we should go into a bit of detail about that. And then the mast comes down. The mast comes down. John brings the mast down. Hopefully. Yes, with the crane. Yes. First of all, we had to prep the boat ready to leave her berth at Brundle Marina. The boom and spinnaker pole have always been on the pontoon, so we picked them up and stowed them on board. We secured some extra fenders on the starboard side and got ready to let slip for the very first time. Okay. <laughs> let me just check it powers up, okay? Yeah. <laughs> let slip the bow. We're getting pushed onto the pontoon anyway. This is my first time slipping Indiana's lines and trying to remember what I learned on my day skipper course. And then I guess we're off. Yeah, yeah slip that. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. 
trouble here. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That is tight. Here comes the fun bit. There's a bit of wind through there, isn't it? Um, sorry. Okay, so not as dramatic as you may have thought, but to us, this was the first time in charge of a boat, not to mention being our boat, and our hearts just sank. I thought we were lined up perfectly to bring us alongside, but then I tried to slow us down by knocking her into reverse. This slowed the turn and left us heading dead on to the concrete jetty. It wasn't just the boat that got knocked, it was our confidence too. Luckily, there was no damage to the boat, just our pride, but our confidence we can rebuild. Let's look at that again. Sorry. Just one round's fine. <laughs> Bit of fine, it didn't. You can come down and look at it. I think the anchor just came onto this, so it just made more noise than anything. Okay. So that little thing there pushed up. Oh, we did it. That pads it out. Yeah. That'll have to do.
they should be seized, what's called seized or put a pin through so they can't rotate and undo because effectively that can rattle undone yeah. and then you lose your mast in a big hurry. So you know, so if something sticks out either way to stop it. Well yeah. either that or get some stainless wire and you see you go through the hole and round the back of this two or three times and then twist it up, seize right. it. Fine. On both the holes. So you need to do both. Yeah. Because obviously the wire can twist and just undo one. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah. So once you've got your tension all right, yeah. seize them up with some stainless wire. <laughs> So hopefully that's given you a bit of information about how to unstep a mast and how to prepare the boat for transportation. In the next episode we will actually be moving her down to Brighton and you will see us having her hauled out the water, put on the back of a lorry and our hearts sinking ever so slightly watching her being lifted. Hopefully she gets to Brighton in one piece. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks, Jordan. <laughs> thanks for stopping by. And thanks for stopping by, Santiago. <laughs> Please come again. I'm Veronica Corningstone. Corningstone. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> it's an anchor man. Go f yourself, San Diego. <laughs> that was so rude. <laughs> We're trying to get people to like and subscribe. Don't just swear at them. <laughs> <laughs>